welcome back to Crafty Girls, your amateur guide to craft beer drinking. It feels odd drinking beer out of a can. It's a bit like dirty wine. It does. In a good way. A British river. It's this sort of colour. That's it's really like that. worrying. It's beautiful, actually. What does it taste like? It tastes like molasses at the end. When you finish eating a pizza, it's salty and really savoury. But there's also that sweetness of the cheese at the end. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't say that at the bar. <laughs> and it's quite refreshing. It's so good. New Zealand and German malt. This is the perfect balance between refreshing and sweet and full of flavour at the same and like, time. It's, it just cuts through so well. Urbanaut Gastown Red IPA. Out of Thumbs 10. Up. Oh, you know what? I'm giving it a 10. I'm going to give it a 9.5 because Ooh, nice, nice. I just I want to leave my options open. I'll just finish mine. Now, the next one is our Nahedi Gold Strong Lager. This is by Harrington Breweries. Oh, I can smell it already. <sighs> it smells really... Planty. Planty! Plant. Or, like, the those artificially smelling um, pens that you had when you were a kid. Huh. I feel like it smells better than it tastes. Yeah, it doesn't really... If I could put, put some lime cordial in it. Lager and lime. Perfect. Isn't that just a corona? It must be lime cordial. <sighs> Strong. Sweet. Planty. Mm. Gooseberry. What are you giving out of ten? Mm. Five. Four. Yeah. I'm going I'm gonna go five. What? That's that's a not achieved mark. <laughs> Sorry. Our third beer is the sawmill crystal wheat. It's a lager. It smells like hay. It does. I have harvested hay. <laughs> and this smells like hay. Yummy! It doesn't have the hoppiness <laughs> to it if you're not into hops. This would be good. Sweet. If I wanted to drink a lot of beer really quickly, I would choose this beer. Wait. And it's got flavour and it's got taste. But after every swallow, the taste is gone. With all the other beers we've tried, the taste stays on your tongue. But in like my mouth, it's like, there's no taste in there. It is gone. It's like smelling the coffee beans in between trying on perfume. Mm. So what are you giving this out of ten? Eight. Personally, yep. I'd give it a six. I just prefer a hoppier beer. The more I drink it, now I've finished it, I actually really like it. I'm going to bump it up to an 8. So well done, Sawmill. And it's an 8 all around. <laughs> the Nick Devore by The Garage Project. It's an organic IPA. Also, how hipster are we with our jars? They are actually adorable. Cheers with our jars. Ooh. It's so citrusy. Ooh. Mmm. 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 It tastes like someone who's like... Squeeze lemons and oranges and stuff into it, but still hoppiness. So it's good. So if you like like fruity lighter beers, but with hops, it's organic. We've got really good beers tonight. I am really happy with our selection. I would buy this beer again. It Actually, it's incredibly cloudy. Is that like a normal level of cloudiness to it? It's got a lot of stuff in it. Honestly, if you're a clean freak and you can't deal with bits in your beer, you should not buy this beer. If you just care about the taste of your beer, you should definitely buy this, this is beer. Good. Like, it is very smooth. It's not so bitter. It's not super overly hoppy. It tastes really nice and lemony and... Garage Project, I love you. So what would you give it out of 10? Mm. I think I'd give it an 8.5. I would, yeah, okay, an 8 because I would drink it again and I'm enjoying it. Always drink and eat. Never drink and drive. Lemon like lots of the beers. <laughs>